got me. Mine came by my our lesson for old rocking chair and we're in standard tuning in standard tuning and um, playing this out of the key of C and let's start with the introduction these are my E's we have a, a C9 position moved up to the 10th fret and now we're going down, adding the pinky, and it's kind of easy. So you start on the 10th fret, and then you go down and add the pinky, and you will see the little dots on the side. That's where you're going to add the pinky. Note, pinky, note, pinky, note, and pinky. You'll see it's all on the dots where you have to have the pinky. That's maybe an easier solution to see. And you are free there. We have a G plus here. And then we're starting at the fourth bar with the melody. We're starting with, this is I think the hardest thing in, for this song, with a C, C chords where you bar strings 4, 3 and 2, but you leave open the first string. 
Uh, and that's the hardest part, I think. You could avoid all this by playing a simple C chord and fool around with that. And later in the song you will see that it's at some points we'll do that. Like that, okay. And with G minor 6 Notice the muting very important in this song by simply lifting your uh, fretting hands. Hammer on, F, and for arpeggios I often use a technique like the flamenco people. I ripple my fingers like that, followed by the tap. So it's, it's, it's more percussive almost. And notice that uh, we'll come back again again in this song, the second part of bar six, where you play a triplet over two beats. F minor, back to a normal C. sharp diminished F minor and then we start with the vocals oh rocking chair gets me my hang by my side fetch me down So we have that difficult C there. Oh, rocking chair. Let's try to do that with a normal C. Oh, rocking chair got me. Again, that same uh, feature. My came by my side. The rippling effect. So it's an A7 and something else, simply a bar and add second and third string, the sixth fret. And I'm using my pinky here um, to get that seventh fret, uh, fifth string, and then to a normal A7. You can do also. We will see that in the solo, so that's a nice variation. Walking into the D7, your C7 position moved up. In a normal G7 to the G plus. And I'm adding the pinky to get that last beat in the 17th measure. Now you will notice that I sang not before I tan your height. I couldn't do that to my son, so <laughs> I changed it there to uh, uh, Don't Let Me Tell You Twice. Fetch me the ginseng. Don't let me tell you twice. Sorry. Of course, this song is sung a bit uh, rubato, so you can stretch 
some words here in the guitar playing of course too. So we slide into an A minor and I'm hitting down simply with my nails here, with my fingers. Down, and again down stroke. So A minor, just lifting, uh, going down with your uh, second finger to the sixth fret. Keep the bar. And then like that. It's changing it to a diminished chord. Five, four, five, four. Slide to the seventh fret. Down. That's a E minor position. D7 position, sorry, E7 position, move that one fret. Move D7. Alright, I'll do that with singing because uh, otherwise it doesn't make much sense. Going changing into a a C9 position moved up so it becomes a D9 and then sorry and then you're the G7 so one more time with vocals starting from bar 20 Going nowhere Just sitting here Grabbing, notice the mute second and the fourth beat, part 25. My dear old man Harriet, in heaven she'd be. So uh, after part 25, part 25 is this. C7, hit down. Mud, sorry, mud here, old man, hair, yeah. So we're just simply moving up and down our C7 chord. The index stays in place. And picking with three fingers, like a bossa nova kind of thing. I'll do it with vocals one more time. My dear old man Harriet, I accented a little bit. That, 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 that. In heaven she be. So here we have that nasty uh, bar with the third finger for that C chord. So, pinky on the 6th fret, going down, 5th fret, releasing, and placing again. Send me sweet chair, for the end of these troubles I see. So, after... Um, So 
this is a diminished chord, F sharp diminished seven, and you can see the positions in the in the tap, of course. Send me, adding the pinky, sweet chariot E minor, and you keep your pinky on the third fret. And that was uh, more or less what we've seen before. And in bar 35, you can see how you can avoid that nasty C chord there. Oh, rocking chair gets in. Judgment day is here. Chain to my. That's a solo. I need to move up my pages here. So I'm playing it really according to the tap. <laughs> so, bar 41. Full chords. And notice the muting. Uh, That was the whole solo I should have break. I'm gonna break it up now. So we had bar 41, sorry. Notice that here the bass pattern is different than in the vocalized uh, version where we play. Now it starts from the sixth string. Nasty chord. Note that um, don't play that too fast. Like that now. One, two, three, and again, sorry. Adding the pinky to the sixth fret there. Then our and a seven flat and sorry sharp and five. A7, where we did uh, before. Now we're doing the, the strum there. D7. Notice the muted. G7 and that G plus. Back to our A minor. One more time. Don't play that too fast. Again, 
then spread over two beats. And that's a E minor, rather awkward E minor, still standard D minor move depth. But you have to move your pinky to get that fourth string, fifth fret. So you do, do the pull, hammer pull off. Then to a D7 position. sliding there. Here I do a bar with the pinky. It's easier for me, but you can do it of course like this or whatever, like this. Uh, like that, bar 45, 44, 56, sorry. Four. Sliding into our F sharp seven diminished. Spread over two beats, watch it there. Again that E seven, uh, sorry E minor. And in the last beats. change to that, well I freehand that. So once more that bar 61, move your pinky to the 5th fret and now do the change in the middle of a triplet, yeah I know that's hard. And then we're repeating bars 3540. Oh, Judgment Day is here. And we're ending. So that's bar uh, 40. Oh, rocking chair. So that's a normal C uh, bar, your uh, E chord moves up to the 8th fret and you can end it, well I did it with a, with a tremolo and some palm harmonics. Uh, you can end of course how you wish. Or Palm harmonics, well, you have to look for the position. You put your palm here and then do that. So that's it for Old Rocking Chair. Have fun with it.